Hi, I'm Amir Hussain, CEO of VDI Works, and today I'll be running you through a demonstration of video over IP. On the left here, I have a client system, which we'll be using to initiate a connection. And on the right side here, I have a host system, which is running the video over IP receiver. As I move over here, I see the video over IP window, which is already up and running. The only thing I need to do in order to initiate a connection is to either plug in the IP address or the host name of the system that I want to connect to, and simply hit the connect button. As soon as I do that, you'll see there's an instantaneous login. There's absolutely no delays. It's just immediately in, into the remote system, just as you would expect. So now that we're logged in, I want to show you a few applications that will hopefully demonstrate the performance of the video over IP protocol. Now this is a dual monitor setup. So the black monitors on the left are both connected to the client. As I maximize a, vi a video window, which is already actually playing a 720p high def video from the Windows Media Showcase, you'll see that the frame rate, the color depth, the clarity, all of that is exactly as you would expect on a local system. In fact, when I select the full screen option and you pan across both displays, both on the host and the client, you'll find that the frame rate, the performance, the responsiveness is basically just like you would have on a regular PC. So with this amazing quality of experience that we're able to deliver through video over IP, we are able to preserve all of the management benefits of VDI and a centralized infrastructure while still delivering a high class experience to the end user. So with that video running now on the client, let's take a look at some of the other applications. So I'll leave this video running here on the monitor on the right, and I'll load up another application which many of us are familiar with, Google Earth. Now Google Earth is, a, um, is the kind of application that has trouble on a lot of different remote systems. It actually uses OpenGL. And so there are compatibility concerns with that as far as a lot of other remoting protocols go. Here you will see that Google Earth not only runs perfectly under video over IP, but the system is actually extremely smooth, very responsive, and again, what you would expect on a high-end local system. So I'll navigate through the globe and zero in here on Texas, particularly Austin, which is where we are at the moment you'll see that the images load up and I see increasingly uh, better quality on the satellite imagery, which is exactly how Google Earth works on a regular desktop. As I zoom into Austin and we see the lake there in green, you'll also see a lot of icons for pictures that people have posted for each one of those localities. I can click on any one of them, and this one being Mount Bunnell, which is a famous landmark in Austin, and you'll see that pictures load up just like you would uh, on, a, on a regular desktop. All this while, we've had the video running without any problems, continuous frame rate, excellent performance, highly responsive. Let me give you a few other demonstrations of some of the applications that you might want to run. And again, demanding applications from a graphics perspective. So I load up the e-drawing application, which actually uh, loads up a CAD drawing, a rendered model, and then when I hit the play button, you'll actually see the model being rotated in three dimensions, working through an animation. Now, one of the things I want to point out is that as I click this, you'll notice this is not a video. This is not um, a, a pre-encoded video that's using an encoder and a decoder. This is actually being generated in real time and it's a 3D model out of a CAD application. This is important for a couple of reasons. First of all, there are several other remoting protocols which are codec dependent. So they do not accelerate experiences that they don't understand because they're really not doing any acceleration at all. They're simply redirecting certain kinds of video over to the client. Because video over IP is a true experience acceleration protocol, and we're totally codec independent, it doesn't matter what kind of experience you're showing on the host side, everything will be accelerated and delivered effectively to the client device. So in this case, again, the Windows Media experience running in full screen mode along with 
a real-time animation of a CAD model on the other screen. But this is the power and flexibility, flexibility of video over IP. Another application that I'll also demonstrate is a really simple one. No fancy multimedia here, but for those of you who are familiar with remoting protocols, you'll recognize that applications such as Notepad and the way that they deal with text input can sometimes create significant problems on other remoting protocols. With video over IP, there's two things that I'd like you to note. First of all, as I type, it catches up with me, and in fact, there is no lag at all, just like I would experience on a local system. Let me type a lot of text really quickly, and you'll see that everything is consistent. The cursor, the text, everything catches up just like I would expect on uh, a regular PC. So the quality of the experience delivered through Video over IP is exceptional. We're extremely proud of the work that we've done. Because this is a software-based technology, we're able to support all the major hypervisors. We have absolutely no tie-ins to any thin client or any particular host hardware. And Video over IP is a low-cost system that gives you the maximum range of configuration options that allow you to deliver the best performance in a network environment of your choosing. So once again, thank you very much for taking the time to look at the demonstration. This was Video over IP by VDI Works.